So, my opinion on the US of A as a, a Scotsman from Scotland, we... Now, we, we look at the UK issues and see some of it, we think we've got it bad, but honestly, I'm at the point, I've got a, I've got a friend, my mate Kyron, who's, I think he's staying in Seattle right now, see, for the last two years, I'm like, oh, bro, you, not... I'm like, bro, I want you to move away from America for your own fucking Dude, safety. I will literally, like, I will literally, the, the fact, if, when, I'm not living in America, when I, when I am able to afford a house, I'm moving somewhere else, it's not going to be in America. In my not. pure opinion, it's like, I look, I'm like, it baffles me that people in America huh, walk into a hospital and there's a doctor sitting with a cash register going, beep, boop, beep, five grand for an ambulance, $5,000 for a fucking flu shot, $3,000 because you've got a wee shitty it's, cough. It's fucking, it's mate, stupid, it's dude. the most capitalist driven and it's so, so sad to see, man. It's, I, 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 yeah, I generally like, some people can't afford feel that sorry. Shit and they're just dying on the street. It's stupid. I I generally feel sorry for the the ninety nine percent in America. It's so fucking sad, man. We have our own problems over here in Scotland. We're not as bad. England has most of the UK problems, which we don't give <laughs> yeah. a shit about. But like just looking over, man, I'm like I go to the doctors, and when I used to have asthma, I would get my inhaler, and it's free. And I would go to the doctors if I want to get my COVID yeah, it's vaccine. So it's free. If I want an operation, it's free. There's not, but, but so I just don't understand how a country can't figure out ways to just keep Especially people alive. If your country to Canada, you know this shit has a has a big fucking problem with murder and injuries. And it's done, it, it, like, I get the thing is, uh, we need, uh, there's already millions of guns, we need to have a guns to defend against these guns, but that, that's a non sequitur, that does absolute shit for nobody, right? I think the last, the last gun massacre in Scotland was, like, Dunblane, and that was in, like, the 80s or the start of the 90s, when Andy, Andy Murray was, a t the tennis player, Andy Murray was actually at that school when it happened. So that was like the last time that kind of things happened, and, yeah, dude. and that's because if we don't have fucking firearms. People can't buy firearms. Knife crime's a big problem, but we did like what was it since? Um, as in the last sixty days, there's been like eight different shootings in America. I guess three hundred yeah, like, million people. You have like, but like, Jesus, you have man. like school shootings. Like if you just walk in a bad neighborhood and you're not a certain type of person, you're gonna get, you could get shot, it's crazy. I, 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 right, so, in summary, I genuinely just feel sorry for Americans general, they're like, they just don't care for human lives, apparently. Then that one, that one female cop apparently mistook a taser for a oh, gun, taser. or a gun for a taser, I fucking wanna punch her or square in her jaw. Right. Even that right. One's a bright yellow thing wants a bright yellow gun that is like ten, probably ten times lighter than an actual firearm. But she's apparently too well, dumb police to notice officers that. don't carry weapons, but even we know that a gun is kept in one side and a taser is kept in the other. How yeah, hard like, can it be to remember gun, it's not taser? It's that hard. It's the way, like, surely literally... the weight of a taser, you would feel that it's not a fucking made of blue steel. <laughs> yeah, also... Once you actually get it in your hands and you look at it, it's like, oh, this isn't my taser. Swap it and pull it out. You, you I'm, taser I'm real fast. Kids. It's not that hard. Police I mean, aren't like, judge, jury, and executioners, like, and they shouldn't be allowed the right to even be that thought in their head that I get to decide whether this person fucking lives or that. Whether that wee guy, that 13 year old that gets shot, he might have had, they might have stabbed somebody, he might have slashed people, he might have had a knife. There's still no reason for anybody, for a, some woman, some fucking police that has been in the in the job for nearly 30 years just to go, nah, kabam man, see you later. Oh, was another, a taser another, shit, oh, did them no example. mention it. Another example was, is, it's not like on the bad side of the cop, because the cop was doing the right thing, but it's another example of just weird, dumb shit. It's just like, not just following what a police officer tells you to do and rejecting it. It's like, it's stupid, just do what he says, yeah. and you won't get in trouble, and you won't die. Well, I, also, in fairness, but police... Ah, well, in this country, police are public servants. They're there to serve the public. 
You don't see in our country, see if a police officer asks for your name, you, I don't have to give him it. I don't have to see if he says to stand there and don't move, I don't have, are you detaining me? I'm under arrest? No, then I'm not fucking doing what you're telling me. Mm. I, and I, I don't think just, and I think that p pointing a gun in somebody's face is only going to exacerbate the situation. And somebody who well knows in yeah, the world that they don't need to do what they And they're going to be nervous, and then they're going to be like, oh, uh, there's a gun in my face, I should probably do something. Something irrational, but, and then they're gonna but, do something like, irrational. Think of a rabbit in the headlights. Like if you see something, they stop. The, the, the rational thing to do would to be to move out of the way. But it's shock, it's fear. You, you get stuck. Like take yeah. that. Uh, what was the the lieutenant, the the Hispanic dude, the, the lieutenant, uh, yeah. fucking the coppers. Uh, they're like he's like fucking the coppers. He's like. He's like, get out the fucking car, and he's like, sir, I would get out of the car, but I'm actually too scared to move, and he's like, ah, you fucking should be. Like, how fucking dare you say that to a man who served your country? You know yeah. what I mean? And, and, like, and this one happened a while back, but, like, just, just something about, like, racism and, like, what pe people believe in. There was, like, I think it was, um, a Jewish, um, church. I don't know what they're called, because I'm not Jewish. Synagogue. Synagogue. Yeah. This guy shoots up this white guy, like not Jewish, just, just this like I don't know. I think it was like atheist. He shoots up this whole synagogue. Is they believe in something different? It's stupid. Who cares? People, let, let them believe uh, in what uh, they want to believe in. And that this all, Simple. all of this, everything with the police, the corruption, the the fucking thingy, especially in America. America comes down to the education that people get at a very base level. Look at these rural towns where there's all these police officers come from. It's such a fucking shame. They're grown up and they're brought into it. They just live in racism. They're rappers on telly shooting guns and fucking waving it's, chains. It's... So they think, why should why should he be allowed to this fucker? You know what I mean? And it's sad. Yeah, it's don't just it's so sad, it's stupid. mate. It's so, so it's sad. stupid. That's why when I am able to move, I... Moving out of this fucking country.